So I've just returned from Vietnam and today I thought I'd make a video for you guys to give you some tips and tricks on traveling with photography gear. When considering what type of gear to bring with you, I think it's important to look at what type of luggage the airline that you're traveling with will actually allow you to bring. Most airlines have one or more of the following type of luggages. You'll either get hand carry, personal item, or checked baggage. Among these three types of luggages, the most important ones to consider are hand carry and personal item because these are the two items that you'll be allowed to take with you on the airplane. This is my Low Pro Pro Tactic 450 AW, and this was what I considered to be my carry on for this trip. Maximum luggage capacity is always changing, so you should always check before you fly as far as what the airline will allow you to bring. In my case, this Low Pro 450 happens to be the exact size of a carry on. In my carry-on are all of my camera bodies, lenses, batteries, and pretty much anything that's important to me. Anything that you don't want to get damaged should be in your carry-on because as we all know, airline companies don't really take care of your checked bags. They sometimes just toss it in the plane to pretty much get the job done. So, I mean, we, we hear about reports about luggages being broken or stuff being taken from the luggage all the time. So that's really something that you should consider when you're checking your bag. If you have something that you're worried about, just bring it on the plane with you. As you can see on the side of my carry-on is my tripod. This happens to be the Manfrotto B3 legs with the Manfrotto MX Pro 2W video head. And let's just talk about traveling with a tripod in your carry-on for a couple seconds. If you make a Google search about can you bring a tripod in your carry-on or something like that, the first hit you get is a resounding yes, you can bring your tripod on your carry-on or at least strap it on it like I do here but in my experience this is a hit or miss anytime that you're traveling you're really you have no control over anything at any time the rules can be changed and they can tell you that no you cannot take this as a carry-on or this doesn't work you'd have to take that out get there's so many rules and you're really at the mercy of TSA or the airlines or whoever you're confronting in my experience with traveling with this setup right here, I was actually stopped on my first flight to Vietnam and I was told that this tripod had to be checked. Um, I was literally at the plane. I was looking at the airplane doors, took my first or second step onto the plane and a, a representative from the airline actually stopped me, pulled me out and told me that I had to check this tripod essentially because it was hazardous. So. Of course, I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. If I lose the tripod and gets broken or something like that, it can be replaced. I didn't want to have to get pulled off the plane or anything, so I just let them have it. And at the end of the day, the tripod did make it to Vietnam, but the weird thing was that like, they took it, check it, but they really didn't tell me what was going to happen to it. They didn't tell me how it was going to be checked or anything like that, but once I got to Vietnam, I had no idea what to look for because like I said, they didn't tell me it was going to be boxed up. It was going to be what was going to be done with it. I just knew that it was going to be checked. So when I got to Vietnam, I actually was waiting for this tripod. I was the very last person to leave because I was just waiting for this. I was like, where the hell is it? And then I, I actually went around, asked a few people who, was, who were doing luggages and they told me to check over at this bin. And there was just a random bin sitting in the middle of the carousel with my tri tripod in a plastic bag. And that's, it's frustrating, but it is what it is. You just have to do it to get your stuff to your destination. But that was kind of a bummer considering how on the flight there was actually a guy, just a random guy carrying a two foot plus long shaft of bamboo, just a stick of bamboo and he was able to get on the flight and I couldn't bring my tripod. So to reiterate myself, at any time the rules can change and one thing or another cannot be taken onto the flight. So the best you can do is <laughs> stay calm and just let it go kind of thing. One tip that I would give you about your carry-on would be that usually airlines give you a weight capacity as far as what you can bring in your carry-on. This is really loose because I've seen airlines who don't weigh your baggage, don't really measure it, and then I've seen airlines who are really strict about it. Uh, I've had to deal with both. 
going to Vietnam, I had to weigh my bag, this and that. Coming back from Vietnam, they just gave me a, a carry-on tag. Don't even wear it and just literally just gave me the tag here. It was like, here, you put it on the bag. So they didn't care at all. So carry-ons are, are, are tough. Let's just say that. But one tip that I would give you is that if you see that your bags are going to get weighed, I usually pull all the heavy stuff out of the bag. That means I put my camera body with my heaviest lens on a strap, put it on my body. Then I pull out the laptop, weigh the bag, it's usually under, and call it a day. Just know or expect what's going to come and be pre prepared for it. Be prepared to pull your stuff out, have them weigh it, get the okay, then put it back on when they're not seeing. That way you're kind of cheating the system a little bit, but you know, whatever works. This is my DJI Phantom 4 case. And as you can see, this was another one of my carry-ons. Now, traveling with a drone is kind of a hassle to me. Um, I orig originally traveled with the DJI Inspire Pro, and that case is uh, twice the size of this. It's literally a checked bag. If you're traveling with an Inspire, it's getting checked no matter what. There's no way that you can get it on as a carry-on. So when I got rid of the Inspire and moved to the Phantom, I was like, all right, it's gonna be so much easier. I'm gonna travel so much lighter with the Phantom. But this, this thing has been to Guam and back, been to Vietnam and back. So it's seen a lot of miles. This exact setup is what I would usually bring. And this is gonna be another carry-on. There's no way around. A good thing that I, I was, traveling with family so they didn't take a carry-on with them so i had a spare carry-ons otherwise this would have been checked and i wouldn't have wanted to do that obviously because the drone is fragile sensitive and kind of expensive really the only way around this carry-on problem of bringing a drone is to buy a smaller drone and that's what i've come to the conclusion of and that's what i will do for my next trip because it's such a hassle traveling with the even the Phantom because it's just so big and takes up so much space. When you're carrying around all day, it becomes a pain. So what I will be doing for my next trip is actually buy the Mavic Pro and just have it inside my other carry-on, the my Low Pro Pro Tactic, and call it a day because I'm really tired of having to deal with this all the time. The next type of luggage that we'll be looking at is personal item. And for me, it just happens to be a laptop bag. Now, from my experience with traveling with various airlines, personal items aren't always available. But when it is, take advantage of it. Because like I said, I for this trip at least, I put my laptop in here and the laptop weighs a significant amount of weight and that will add to your, your real carry-on. So having a laptop or whatever small little things that you, you need in this little personal item bag greatly <laughs> increases what you can carry on the plane with you. This leaves us with checked bags. Of course, checked bags is what you give the airlines to put under the plane to, to take along with you. And usually in my checked bags, I just have my clothes. Really, that's, that's all I bring. So all my gear is on me in the plane and in my checked bag is just clothes. And coming back from Vietnam and the various other flights that I've, uh, I went on in Vietnam, I've learned to just check my tripod and just go with it just because I, I don't want to have to deal with just my tripod being checked in a plastic bag like my first flight, two flights to Vietnam. So to get away from all that troubles, I just checked my tripod from now on. And those are my few tips and my thoughts on traveling with camera gear. I hope this video helps you out. I really do because traveling with camera gear is kind of a pain in the ass and a stressful situation. So if it has helped you out, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.